James Kaufman will news report today. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just had a very strong M5.17 solar flare pop off as measured on GOES satellites. Do a little bit more investigation and find out what is going on here. We do have a beta gamma sunspot, but no delta sunspots currently. We do have a sunspot that was a delta class sunspot earlier today. Let's figure out what is going on. It looks like it might have been directly Earth facing. We'll figure that out right now. All right, we see we have an M5.17 solar flare, a very strong solar flare that well, maxed out at 150 UTC time, which is about 850, 10 minutes before 9 central time here in the U.S. They have not assigned it to a sunspot group. We're going to find out if we can find out where it should be assigned, right? It might be directly Earth-facing. All right, over to HMI and Tensegram. We're always a clip or two ahead of the news. It's going to be hard for us to figure out what's going on here. So a lot of sunspots that are earth facing here. I had no idea. Looks like we have, well, 10 total sunspots earth facing. 4321 was a Delta class sunspot earlier today. We also need to look at 4317, which is looking very complex as well. We don't know where this came from yet, but we're going to figure it out together. All right, here we are over on GOES Solar Ultraviolet MG 195 Angstroms. GOES 19, by the way. We do have a chrome hole directly Earth facing. We should see solar streams up just over 700 kilometers per second in about 40 hours. Where did this occur? It came on the incoming limb here. Probably much stronger than the M5.17 for the is being reported. You see it pop off right there. Mostly eclipsed by the limb from an unnamed sunspot group. I'll be the very first one to report that as usual. But that's what we're dealing with here. A new sunspot group that will be Earth facing around the superior conjunction to the 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th. Get ready, because we're all going to be in a heap of trouble with a geomagnetic connection that looks like, well, what's coming up in our way. God bless. I use several instruments to find out exactly when the crest of that solar flare was. Turned out it was around 1.50 UTC time, and it was picked up by our ghost satellite and... This is our GOES X-ray flux, as you can see there. Just went through the 150. Oh, wait. Wait. There you go. You know what? None of these instruments lie unless they're screwed with by man. So let's take a look at that. Watch the 150. Mm, so... Not a huge, a huge explosion, but mostly eclipsed by the incoming, well, edge of our sun. So probably an X flare, believe it or not. And these are from unnamed sunspots. Wow. With that said, I'm pretty sure that 2026 is going to start off with a bang, if you know what I mean. We have that unnamed sunspot group that probably won't be named for a day and a half, maybe two days coming around, being picked up by GOES X-ray 19. Wow. As a 5.17, wow, probably an X5 flare. And that will be Earth-facing during our superior conjunction with both Venus and Mars behind the sun and the moon, Earth, and Jupiter on one side of the sun and lined up. God bless you guys. I'm glad I got to show you all first. I'm sure I am first because the information is not even in. That said, 
We will be live here in about 20 minutes. It'll take me a few minutes after this large development to get going. Please give us a thumbs up. Please share. Always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.